Okay, hello and welcome back. And that is right, today I want to help you reduce the noise of your Synology NAS when it's in operation and hopefully bring down the old internal temperature as well. In this video, I'm going to be showing you and walking you through exactly how to perform some hacks and mods to your Synology NAS in order to bring down the volume. But before we go down that road, we have to go through a few disclaimers and also sort of discuss why you might want to do this. Because, and it's really, really important, you may not need to do this. The noise that you're hearing may well not be something that any of the mods in today's video are going to fix. But if you just come to this video and you don't want to hear the disclaimers and more, the chapters along the bottom of the screen will take you directly to when we perform the modifications. But for the rest of you, stick around a bit. Number one, and probably the most important thing, Anything you do along these lines that is a hardware change to the system and taking it apart that's outside of what, what Synology state their system is covered by is largely going to invalidate your warranty. So go, going down this road, if you choose to make modifications to your system and put your system in a state where it is not covered or at least Synology do not endorse or approve it, then your warranty is almost certainly going to be void. So do not go down this road if that concerns you, if you are if you are worried about losing the support of the brand behind you. But that's enough of the old T and C pop to one side there. Another thing I think worth touching on, I alluded to in the introduction, and that is there's a lot of you out there that may have a noisy Synology NAS in your environment, and what's wrong with it isn't anything to do with the actual NAS. So let's really talk about the main problem and one of those is to do with hard drives now you may or may not be aware that if you have hard drives that are classed as pro or classed as enterprise these drives have a much more industrial build quality about them these have got more platters inside traditionally when they go above about 12 tb they're helium sealed so they've got even more platters and ultimately they have gears inside that will spin up and spin down considerably more quickly and also with the little actuator making a lot more noise no modification to the Synology NAS realistically is going to make a blind bit of difference about that so again if you've got enterprise drives or you've got pro series drives or you have drives above around 10 tb chances are the noise you are hearing more than anything else is the storage drives themselves what can you do well unfortunately you either have to go for lower capacity drives that have more bays in your system or go down the road of ssds which of course will hit your wallet quite hard another thing you can do to reduce the operational noise of your system in terms of vibration and this will assist you to a minor point with those larger pro or enterprise drives is to take it um, go to your local kind of stationary shop and get pieces of foam like these you actually buy a lot of products online that arrive with panels like this and what you can find is when you place your Synology NAS onto panels like this this can often dissipate a lot of that energy that vibration that's happening from within inside this system being passed through to the surrounding surfaces and isolate that vibration I'm not going to say that it's going to make the system silent but whether it is the system may be sandwiched against other components and you want to uh, lessen the impact or popping them underneath or on top they can play a part but just keep in mind that Synology NAS is different from unit to unit and if you start covering up ventilation panels on these systems in the most crucial areas you may well lessen the noise but also increase the internal system temperature which can lead to uh, depreciation and degradation on the internal components but also lowering uh, performance by the system and increasing the fan noise on the system as it tries to combat the increased heat which then with the fans getting louder means more noise the last recommendation before you start getting your screwdriver out and knocking around is going to be playing around with the sands a little bit going into the control panel and again most of these things are set to automatic but you can go in and decrease the fan speed if you wish doing so by the way potentially if you lower that fan speed can then increase the internal temperature of your system and the system's own automatic triggers and sensors are already increasing and decreasing the fans based on the system temp but if you're in a pinch or in a bind you can lower the rpm of those fans automatically within dsm on top of that 
If the system, for example, is noisy during the evenings and nights, you can go into the power settings and select the scheduled on-off features of the Synology NAS. And that, in conjunction with things like Wake On LAN, will ensure that the system, when it's not being utilized by you, and if you're in close proximity, say it's in your home, will not be in operation during those times, and therefore the noise is non-existent. But if you've come this far, chances are you've come to do some modding of your system. We're going to be going through two distinct mods today. Number one is taking advantage of Velcro strips inside your Synology NAS system to depreciate the vibration that's coming from the storage drives inside. The other modification is going to be utilizing fan upgrades. Now, depending on the Synology NAS that you choose to use, the fans you need are going to be to differ quite wildly. Now, replacing the fans on your Synology NAS, there's a lot of third-party fans out there, none of which I should add Synology officially endorse. But I think the general consensus across the whole internet, with good reason, is brands like Noct Noctua. Noctua produced their own multi-fan range for PCs, for quieter desktop, for gaming rigs, and these do find a balance, not only between reduced vibration when in operation, taking advantage of small modifications centered all the way around the fans, better placement of ball bearings and weight displacement, but on top of that, having improved RPMs inside as well, which means that they can increase their fan speed as well as having a lessened audio impact when in operation. The best of both worlds, and ultimately meaning you can have a cooler running system without an increased noise level. Now, again, there are other fans out there that are supported. Indeed, there should be a link in the description uh, to an article by Eddie over at NAS Compares where he went through lots of different third-party fans with different Synology NASs, and that's another thing. Different fans for different systems. This, for example, is a DS923+, Plus, and it has two fans there on the rear. That means for this one, you would utilize the Noctua NF. A9 fans and indeed these are supported by more than half of the Synology NAS systems in the market but if you go for something a touch more enterprise if you go for something a little smaller there are other fans out there that you can choose to use for your Synology NAS so make sure you buy the right ones the article in the description should tell you which one you need but in order to go ahead with these modifications we're going to need Fans, either one or two, depending on the Synology NAS you choose to use. Remember, most two bays from Synology have only got one fan. Um, next, you're going to need yourself a screwdriver, and you're going to need yourself a set of scissors. Now, I'll touch on this later on in the video, but most Noctua fans also arrive with these. These two elements here. Now, these are the rubber edges of every single fan. Now, depending on the Synology NAS you use, fitting in these fans can be a bit of a tight fit. You may find, and we'll go on into more detail later on, you may need to remove some of these corners. Don't be afraid to do so. They are designed to be removed. They're hot plugs. The second thing is this. This is a replacement um, silent screw. Now what this is, rather than using a screw on the device you put the fan in, these are formed to go inside the screw cavity and hold the fan in place. Unfortunately, most of these, you know, they rarely fit in Synology NAS systems. So although there are reports of some users using these plugs to keep the fans in place, I personally wouldn't give them the time of day because they don't really hold the fan securely in place because of the tight edges that are located all the way around the Synology uh, enclosures. The result is that if this isn't securely holding this fan in place, it's moving, it's vibrating, it's making noise. But there you go. Let's move over to the actual installation and I'll show you how to apply the Velcro mods, how to apply the new fans, and a little bit of an audio test at the end just to give you some idea about the noise difference. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you've powered down the system fully. Disconnect the power and the ethernet cable from the rear of your Synology NAS, but moreover, make sure you safely power down the device and make sure you leave enough time for the drives to fully spin down. Now, when you remove each of the individual drives, it's recommended by most users that you put the drives to one side and you take note of which drives were in which slot. Luckily, more modern releases in Synology's DSM software mean that even if you put the drives in the wrong order back in the system, normally the system will recognize which drives are which. Next up, we need to get our Velcro strips and start applying these to either the system or the drives. Now, there are two schools of thought. Some users prefer to put 
long Velcro strips inside each of the individual drive bays of the Synology NAS. An alternative method, and certainly one that I recommend, is to put small squares of Velcro directly onto the tray. Put a square, uh, put two squares, I should say, on either side of each tray, and one on the inside of the tray, at the very top of the tray, where it meets the handle of the tray. Repeating this on every tray one by one, and then inserting the drives back into the system, will ensure that vibration from those drives during spin will not be passed through to the rest of the system. And also, do make sure that you use the fuzzy side of the Velcro strip there, and not the hooked side. The fuzzy side is the one that will dissipate the vibration significantly more. Now, when it comes to replacing the default fans inside your Synology NAS with the uh, better performing and certainly quieter Noctua fans, uh, you're going to need to follow the following steps. Number one, you're going to need to remove all of those drives again. This is simply because when you're manipulating the system, there's going to be a lot of motion and you don't want to harm the NAS and, of course, the drives inside. Once that's done, rotate the system all the way to the back and find these two screws here on the left hand side of the chassis and remove each of those individual screws. Once those screws have been removed, pl gently place your hand on the inside of the chassis storage cage and pull. The system uh, external casing will come apart in two places and you'll be able to slide away the larger area of the plastic to reveal the internal metal framework. Now turn the drive back around again and start to remove the eight individual screws on the rear of the case here. These are what keeps the fans attached to that remaining framework. Also, it's worth noticing here at the top are two black plastic clips that hold both of the fans in place. Now, you don't necessarily need to remove these, but I would definitely remove them anyway as it will make installing the new fans considerably easier. Now you've removed all of the screws and hopefully those two black clips, head over to the side of the system and remove the two power pins that attach the fans to the main controller board. Now you should be able to remove both of the fans together from within the Synology chassis. They will be unconnected and just pop them to one side and prepare your new Noctua fans. An important detail here that many might get wrong. First and foremost, make sure you angle both the fans correctly so that the wires for each individual fan meet in the middle. Next, make sure the fans are facing the correct direction, as the last thing you want to do is stop the system from drawing air in the correct direction. This will be the absolute opposite of what you want these fans to do. As you slide each individual fan into the cavity that's now been occupied by the removal of the old fans, make sure that you filter the power connector for each of those fans before you screw it in, as the cable needs to run along the base of the system towards the main controller board. Simply plug in each one as you secure the fans afterwards by attaching each of the individual four screws. It's also worth highlighting that all Noctua fans arrive with rubber plugs to be used if need be instead of screws. However, in the case of the Synology, these don't hold the fans quite in place strongly enough and I recommend you use the original screws. Otherwise, using the plugs will result in the fans being loose and therefore creating more vibration. Additionally, when you are reattaching the two black clips that resided just above each of the fans, you may notice that there isn't really a cavity for these clips to go back onto, and that's because the Noctua fans have rubber panels in the corner of each fan. Simply remove the middle one and the one on the furthest left, as this will allow you to reattach those black clips and securely hold each fan in place. After you've double checked that the power connections for each fan are attached and that the fans are secured individually with each one's four screws, go ahead and reattach the external casing. Then attach both of the screws that originally held the casing in place. Carefully attach and slide in each of the individual storage drives that you removed earlier. Now, they will go in a little bit more stiff than they did previously because of the new felt Velcro panel to eliminate the vibration from the drives. Simply slide them in. You should still have a bit of resistance, but nonetheless, they should slide into all of the individual grooves they had previously. 
And that's about it. Now you can go ahead and start reattaching your network connectivity and your power connection. Now, to give you some idea about the difference these fans can make, we've got some recording here of the original setup of the system with the original fans and with the drives not having that anti-vibration Velcro paneling. And on the right, we've got the upgraded system with both of these mods applied. Let's listen and also keep an eye on the decibel meter to the left of both systems. But there you go, I hope you found this video helpful. As mentioned, there should be a written article linked below and hopefully we'll produce a few guides for all the different Synology NASs out there as well as the uh, different fans that they are going to need. We'll do that mostly in written form because that would be like 25 videos and I'm sure you've got better things to do. But let me know if you guys have got other fans that you recommend for your own rig. Maybe you've got other fans that you've utilized that you want other users to know about. Let us know in the comments and maybe we can add those to the existing lists of compatible fans but once again keep in mind if you go down this road you are going down a road that Synology will not support you on in almost every circumstance so you're going to avoid your warranty don't do this if you don't you know if you want to keep that warranty to support you moving forward thank you so much for watching there's links in the description to each NAS and the recommended fan over on Amazon hopefully AliExpress as well will check if you use those links it does result in a small uh, fee coming back to me and Eddie uh, it's just us at NAS compares. It allows us to keep doing what we do. Thank you so much. If you're going to go to those shops anyway, then please use those things. Otherwise, don't you know bend your back or nothing. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.